Hi, teachers. I'm Bruno Bukeki. This is my partner, uh, Walter. And we're here in ELT in Brazil to talk about assessment. This is lesson two uh, on our, our course. And today we're going to talk about formative and summative assessment. Do you know which is which and what's the difference? We'll find out today. See you in a second. Hold the vignette. Okay. Um, Bruno, this one, I know you have strong opinions about this one. I have strong opinions about this one. Uh, it's, it's something that, uh, I mean, not only do you have to study it, like deeply when you're doing the Delta, uh, and you were going to do mo the module three right now, I'm going to do module two, but, uh, in, uh, I don't think it's something you had to do in module two, is it? Um, assessment. No, no. Right. But it's mm -hmm. something that you do in, in module three. And then you you just have to create your you know uh, assessment tools, mm -hmm. and then you really you really get like confused throughout the way. But that's part of the process of, of learning, I guess. And then in this case, it's something that you you know, I think it's something we are gonna agree uh, uh, upon and a lot actually. Uh, let me just start sharing. Uh, when we think about formative assessment, um, let's just brainstorm here, shall we? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So when we think of formative, uh, what is what comes to your mind when you think of formative? To me, I'm going to say mine first. It, it, uh, mm -hmm. It's the kind of, uh, of, uh, of assessment that is used to feed back into uh into the course i am gonna assess the students and i'm gonna use that information to feedback into the course so i know that they they have absorbed what they had to absorb and they learned what they had to learn and the things that they didn't may cause changes in the program so mm -hmm. I plan to do this, but now I know that they didn't do well in this. I have to adapt and 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 and, and find a way to do that part again because it, it, they are not doing well enough. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, a formative assessment is um, assess, a, a, as you were saying, right? I like using the word inform because it, it, it bears this resemblance with formative assessment, right? So a uh, formative assessment is assessment that informs teaching. So based on uh, this assessment, you will decide uh, your next steps, right? So yes. mm -hmm. um, we, we, we very, uh, very frequently, we assess needs as you were saying, right, uh, uh, learning gaps, and then we can decide on the content that we're going to teach or reteach um, in the future. But I believe that we can also assess interests, and then we can use these interests to inform uh, the topic that is going to be discussed or uh, the way that this content is going to be uh, dealt with, right? Yes, um, and 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 uh, the, I mean, there is one more thing, which is uh, when you think about progress check, we usually think of formative tests, a uh, formative assessment, right? Not that it it has to be, but usually it is. And um, I would add that you can do it formally or informally. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So you might have an actual test, but you can also do uh, do it based on a project. Right. And now we move but on to both, summative. Both are formal, though. Yes. Yes. I mean, well, what if you choose to do uh, throughout? What if you decide not to have a actual formal test or even tell students that they are being assessed? 
Um, I, I, I would, uh, I, I would, uh, I would disagree that knowing that you're being tested is is relevant when uh, discussing formal or informal. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I feel I feel that uh, formal assessment oh. is um, is the kind of assessment that is uh, planned and structured. Right, so you have a criteria, you have a key or something. Uh, the informal assessment you don't is the kind of assessment we do. Um, <laughs> you know, when you ask a question and and, and students frown, and then uh. you look at them and you say, "Ah, entenderam nada," right? Uh. <laughs> and then you go back and you <laughs> and you rephrase it. This is <laughs> informal, formative assessment because you're going to teach that again based on this. Uh, uh th th there is this um very simple technique that i that, that i like using and i feel it's mm. so powerful it's um uh, uh, the, uh, so mm. I, I tell students, students uh, after the class um mm. to close their eyes and put their hands up with a set number of fingers up right uh. so one means today's class was absolutely difficult I have no idea what I'm doing. And uh, five, today's class was absolutely easy to the point of being boring. Right. And then I tell students one, two, three, raise your hands. And then everybody has their eyes closed and they put uh, a number. So I know what the group thought of the class and students hmm. don't, don't fear losing face. And, um, <laughs> oh, I don't want to use a one or a two because my friends will think, that, that I'm not mm -hmm. smart enough. Uh, but it's very easy to informally, informatively assess the group like, oh, okay, so they're they're comfortable with this, right? It's mm -hmm. definitely not enough, right? But I, it's... I, I was going to add something to formal, informal, but I think it might spoil <laughs> something for the next video. So okay. I'm going to leave it as this, <laughs> right? Okay. okay. And yeah. what about summative? Uh, well, oh, let's go to summative. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Okay, so summative assessment. Uh, I, well, it, it it although it is usually rather formal, it could be done informally as well. Yes, I could. You, you, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, if you think about it, like, uh, let's say, if you want to use self-assessment, for example, self-assessment is something that is very commonly done for formative assessment. Mm -hmm. I'm even going to write that down. But if you <laughs> wanted to, you you could because uh the 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 insights of a student in 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 regards to their learning are useful and the thing is uh when, when uh while formative assessments used to feedback into the course summative assessment is 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 formative assessment because it can't the course will be done it is summative because it's not going to change. It's not really going to inform the teaching. Mm -hmm. It might change the program because, oh, the course is not working and we're going to change this program for uh, for uh, the next time we apply this, this syllabus. Mm -hmm. But it's not, it can't feed back into the course, mm -hmm. right? Um, but let me think, uh, can you think of a, of, um, a definition for summative? Uh, okay. Uh, summative assessment is, I'm thinking out loud. Uh, don't, don't, I wouldn't write this. Uh, summative I, assessment is assessment hmm. that, um, I don't want to deny, uh, and, and use it as, uh, a, a definition, right? It is assessment that is, that does not inform, uh, the course. No, uh, but it's assessment that, informs uh students or teachers or parents or 
uh, stakeholders, let's use, uh, that inform <laughs> stakeholders of um, students' development at that point in time, at a specific uh, point in time? I'm... I'm gonna I'm gonna say or okay stakeholders. On, the, students. Achievement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think achievement is enough, uh, isn't it? Of yeah. the course objectives, what do you think? Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> because the course has objectives and uh, it, it could be any type of them, but then you were informing them about them mm -hmm. about those. And it's like, you want to know if they absorbed it or not. But again, you want to know if they meet the standard. There is a yardstick. And we want to know if they reached it, right? They mm -hmm. they they reached the bar, and it it is what we use to pass or fail students as well, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. But yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, what else? I think this is. Um, I I think it's worth. Uh, okay, so we should add uh, a couple more things to summative, right? So that our mind yeah, map. I, is... I would say is maybe balanced. usually formal yeah it's usually formal but mm -hmm. uh i'm also gonna say not necessarily um uh, indirect testing what do I mean with that? If you remember from the previous video, uh, direct testing, indirect testing, it involves like, okay, what if you want to do, if you want to give them a project? Uh, okay, so you have to produce a video talking about something. You're obviously going to assess them on, 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 on speaking, for example. Mm. And, and and that doesn't even though it is formal because it, well there it's done under certain conditions that let's say you give them uh, a checklist of things mm -hmm. and they can also self assess and and that kind of thing but they know that this this is where they have to stand out and and that mm -hmm. they need to pass certain criterion right uh but as opposed to sit uh, just sitting a test, just sit and and answer this test. So mm -hmm. uh, summative assessment doesn't have to be like that. It doesn't have to be uh, discrete mm -hmm. item testing. Just I'm gonna emphasize the not. Yeah. Um, at, at the risk of uh, of being incorrect due to an exception. But mm -hmm. I would say that formative and summative uh, assessment is not an innate characteristic of any assessment tool, right? So a written test can be formative and summative. A project can be formative or summative. It really depends on the use that we're giving to the tool, right? Is so it, are you um, are you doing this for this or are you doing this? Yeah for that yeah so if and it's then, a project that ends at uh at the end of the module and the result is a picture of students achievement and you're not going to use this in the next module it's summative assessment through projects if totally. students are taking a very formal uh, straightforward written test but you use the results of this test to base the teaching of the next module. That's a formal discrete item test you being used formatively. Is that a thing? Formatively? I, I, I think you summarized it really well. Uh, <laughs> if, if, you, if you think about the reason why you're doing that test, 
you will know whether it's formative or summative, right? Mm. It, it is the reason. And ob obviously, mm. uh, if you have in mind the goal of, of testing, of, the, of assessment, why you're doing that, you might choose certain uh, um, tools, tools Over others. and you might change your mind, right? For example, mm. I don't think it would, I mean, you you can and actually like the the test that I uh, that I exemplified uh, uh, earlier about uh, a project that is used for summative assessment, it is always good to give students a, a, a checklist so that they can you know follow the criteria and know what mm -hmm. and, and, and having that checklist will help them uh, uh, perform better I think mm -hmm. right, uh, but I I think it goes further than that. Uh, because then it also uh, has to do with the learning pr process. And anyway, um, mm. sorry, I digress. <laughs> oh, no, but, but, but I think this is, um, uh, our, our videos are never going to be 12 minutes, Valter. We have to <laughs> okay, I'm uh, give abandon up, the dream. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I feel that, uh, because when, when we get talking about uh, these projects, uh, by the way, people, uh, as you might have noticed, uh, we have a plan to start the video and then things happen throughout uh, the conversation. Every time. Um, but uh, so I, I feel that uh, students' frustration with tests and with assessment might be due to the overuse of summative testing where or, or when they should have been formative uh assessment um Absolutely. for example uh, i don't think students would resent too much uh taking uh an end of the year exam because the, the 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 use is very clear we want to know how well you develop throughout the year uh but having summative tests and and, and really tests like exams throughout the year and then a uh, student scores a four a three in the test and professor uh, dajombros and then next semester we continue with the new content it's very frustrating like uh, you tested me i failed you know i failed i know i failed but let's we'll pretend just it's okay leave it <laughs> and then try something else next module it's very frustrating and and i and i think uh it is frustrating for us teachers and it is frustrating to those students who are doing their best and they're like come on i'm i'm doing my best here and i got a nine this guy is barely coming to classes he's not doing his best clearly not even trying and he gets a five and then uh, he has one of those. He get he has one of those exams, gets another five, and next year he's here with me like nothing happened, and he's mm -hmm. clearly not at my level. And I'm not talking about English. I am talking about everything. We are teachers. Mm -hmm. We work with math, history, chemistry, whatever teacher you're talking about. And this happens with every subject, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So like. Like oh and 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 I mean it's about changing the whole way the whole and I don't like the word but that we gotta change the mindset here because if we mm -hmm. change the way students are tested we would change the way that they learn. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean there are countries uh, that are, that are you know which are working out different systems and and not using uh, so much of summative assessment and formal assessment, right? Uh, mm -hmm. You're testing through uh, through projects, and then you would kill at the very root of the feeling uh, of uh, I have a test tomorrow, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna study today. Yes, because that's not learning, right? Mm -hmm. Like uh, how like you're studying for the test, you're not learning anything, and that's the reason why they they oh, okay they they know enough for the test, but if you ask them two days later. They don't remember they anymore nothing. because yeah. you study the day before the test because it's <clears> close <throat> to the test and then you remember stuff. That's mm. 
the idea right and then we're going to talk about backwash wash back in uh, mm-hmm. in uh, in, in an upcoming video, video and yeah. and we'll see more about that yeah. right uh about the, can can i can i close today's video with a question to our audience do it <laughs> yeah uh, before that like subscribe share with your friends uh your grandmother would love to know about us um mm-hmm. <laughs> share it with her um I, I, the question is, um, summative tests, uh, the, the the amount of summative tests that students do in class, uh, these tests in which students get a result, say a three, a four, uh, and nothing is done about this grade, the, the teacher doesn't go back to revisit the topic, It the, this score, this three, uh, this test, does not serve the student's interest. This test does not serve the teacher's interest. Whose interest is this test serving? And I'll see you next video. Yes, bum, and I bum, hope to bum. see the answers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. We'll see you in the next mm-hmm. video. And we really appreciate your being here with us. Hope you'll be in the next one as well. See you. Bye. Bye.